So in today's video, we're going to the Magnificent Mages College, which is located in the not-so-magnificent town of Winterhold. In the year 122 of the Fourth Era, Winterhold was partially destroyed, in a tragedy known as the Great Collapse. During this time of uncertainty and distrust, we have the following primary source, which is a letter from the college in an attempt to reassure the Jarl of Winterhold. The following letter comes from Archmage Deneth, the Archmage of the College of Winterhold. To the esteemed Jarl Valdemar of Winterhold. First, please allow me to offer my sincere condolences. I understand that you, like many others, have lost family and you have my deepest sympathies. I also understand that some in your council have placed the blame for this horrible disaster on my colleagues at the college. While I can certainly appreciate the shock at the scope of recent events and the desire to comprehend what has happened, I must strongly urge you to reconsider the full situation. It is well known the importance of this institution, but it is also well known that the relations between the people of Winterhold and the college itself have been, shall we say, strained over the last few decades. After the Oblivion Crisis, it was only natural that the people of Skyrim showed a distrust for mages, even though the vast majority of us actively worked to counter the actions of the Mythodon cult. The college expected such a reaction, and hoped that the distrust would fade over time. And then the Red Year. No one foresaw the explosion of Red Mountain, or the devastating effect it would have on Dunmore culture. Your predecessor was kind enough to welcome many of the refugees, particularly those who could contribute to the college studies. We were quite grateful. When Solstein was generously offered to the Dunmore as a new home, I was as surprised as any. I did not, however, share the apparent expectation that all Dark Elves would leave Skyrim. It did not go unnoticed that many in Winterhold were unhappy at how many mages chose to stay at the college rather than relocate. And now, the storms that have racked the coast of Skyrim for close to a year have finally broken, but at a great cost to us all. This great collapse has devastated Winterhold. It was unexpected, I assure you. That the college has remained unaffected is only a testament to the protective magics placed around it for so long. It in no way implies that we were somehow prepared specifically for this event, and is certainly no indication that the college was somehow responsible. I certainly would never hold you accountable for the gossip spread amongst the people of Winterhold. I would urge you, though, to not allow that gossip to take root and become the commonly held belief, as I do not wish to see a relationship crumble like Winterhold has. As I assure you, the college will remain here for a very, very long time. Your persistent advocate, Archmage Deneth. And that is a letter from the Archmage Deneth to the Jarl of Winterhold on the Great Collapse. And I mean, what a letter it is contains quite a lot of sass from Mr. Deneth, I would say. The Great Collapse always kind of intrigued me, because it never really gets properly answered. I mean, here in this layer, Archmage Deneth is blaming the waves crashing against the shore of Winterhold for the destruction that's caused. And there's also a lot of arguments that it is caused by the distant eruption of the Red Mountain. But personally, I don't think that makes much sense because there's a great difference in time between um, the Red Mountain erupting and the Great Collapse. So I think there's just too much of a delay there, so I think that can't really be proven either. So this is where I think those who are watching might be able to come in and tell me what you think caused this. I mean, personally, I've always kind of believed that the Mages Guild did have an impact on what happened. I mean, I don't think they directly caused it, but I think maybe it was caused by some form of accident or something. So yeah, if you have an opinion or an idea of what might cause the Great Collapse, please feel free to leave it in the comments section below. Until next time, see ya!